The Monica Z-Flow Fluidized Positioner facilitates developmental positioning for infants while helping reduction in hospital-acquired pressure ulcers by offloading of bony prominences. It is available in multiple sizes based on patients' specific needs. This video demonstrates the use of fluidized tube positioner to achieve a contained position for a baby in supine, lateral and prone positions. The fluidized positioner tube is used in conjunction with a fluidized body positioner and comes in small and large sizes. The fluidized positioner tube offers advantages over the traditionally used folded towels or pillows. Like other positioners, it should always be used with the included cover. The tube includes an attached strap plus two separate straps that can be affixed to maintain the positioner's shape in the heat of an incubator. For a supine position, place a full body positioner on the bed and create an indentation for the head. Place the infant on the positioner so its head is in the indentation. Gently mold the positioner around the infant to help maintain a contained position. Wrap the tube around the perimeter of the positioner, creating indentations as needed for medical equipment. Secure the tube with the attached strap. The tube positioner should conform closely to the body's positioner. Mold the tube around the baby on all sides. Ensure that the baby is in a flexed, contained midline position with the hips and knees flexed. Securing the tube with straps. Finish by ensuring that the head is well supported and breathing is not obstructed. For side lying, place the infant on the positioner with the head at the top. There should be slightly more positioner behind the baby than in the front. Mold the positioner along the back and the front of the infant. Place the tube around the positioner enclosing its perimeter. Mold the tube around the baby on all sides. Ensure that the baby is in a flexed midline position with the hips and knees flexed. Secure the tube with the attached strap. Mold the tube so it provides clear access to the face. Note that you can create channels for medical equipment. Support the head and mold the sides of positioner around the head. Now use the separate straps to maintain the positioner's shape and achieve a contained position. Straps can be used full width or folded in half. Finish by ensuring that the head is well supported and breathing is not obstructed. To position the baby in a prone position, begin with the small flat positioner on the bed. Create a mound down the center of the positioner to support the infant. Place the baby on the mound, ensuring the neck and head are properly supported on the positioner. Make an indentation for the baby's knees. Mold the sides around the body. Place the tube around the perimeter of the positioner. Secure the tube in position using the attached strap. Mold the tube around the baby on all sides. Ensure that the baby is in a flexed midline position with the hips and knees flexed. Depress the positioner around the front of the head so the face area is clear. Create channels to accommodate medical devices as needed. Add the two additional straps to help maintain a contained position.
Neonatal positioners can be remolded to allow for routine or medically necessary position changes. When the patient's medical condition allows for it, begin by removing the infant from the pad. Remove the small pad if using, and smooth out with your hands. Folding the positioner in half will help attain a flat surface. Note, never use the folded pad for positioning as it becomes very firm when folded. If the patient is in a minimum stimulation environment, you may need to have a team member elevate and hold the baby while a colleague uses the flat part of their hand to flatten out the positioner. Positioners can be cleaned based upon your facility's protocols. Positioners are for single patient use only, but can accompany the patient to different care settings.